Hello and welcome you to for another video of Heroes of Ordain Chaos. This time I'm playing the Dark Elf Axel. It's an how to play tutorial like... Not like... Gold 4 but... I will just show you how to play like... Because everyone uses Elf but they not know how to correctly use it. Let's buy our scores. Patience, two of them. Many of the elves they're using are buying boots or radar, I don't know, like the great burst claw because they say, oh my god, I need physical attack damage, I have more damage. But you guys don't understand, you get here you get also physical attack and you get 200 HP, two of them. 24 physical attack and 200 HP. Here is it, 30 physical attack. Okay, you got six more, but it doesn't help you if you have low HP. HP, they kill you in no time. And I would really recommend you guys not to use, put one point in the skills at first. Just run around if your team needs you or something, then put one point in stun. If the enemy tries to escape or you need to damage, put one point in your arrow flurry. Alpha is in the mid line some most time. But this time the most time how I play with Elf is going to the bot jungle, the whole bot jungle. And not kill the enemy directly, just sneak to them and kill them from the back. Clip needs some help here, that's why I got up here. Okay, then I take the mid. Clip is going down. Oh, I really hate that. Hmm. If Clip had attacked the may the witch. Nice. Get some nice teamwork going on here. Let's go down jungle again. Cause I have my tablet of discretion. I think I don't. I don't know the name right now. It's the tablet where you. It doesn't matter which enemy you kill. Neutral creature. Neutral creatures. Soldiers. Every time you kill. You know, you make the last uh, last hit or something, get gold. At least it, it counts your kill. You get 5 HP every time. At maximum to 360 HP and that's very good. For like heroes like Elf or something, because they're really sneaky. Squishy, like I say. Come on, that's not, are you serious? Come on, bro, are you serious? 
Oh no, don't do it, bro. Oh, it's a little laggy. No! Oh my god, I hate it when it switches the targets. Are you serious? Oh my god, that was really dumb. Shit! Hmm. I know I had to use my use my heal. Ah, that was stupid. And I really recommend you if you play with Elf, buy at first the face breaker and some boots. Don't really, please don't buy this fireball. It's really useless, guys. I don't know why every elf uses it. I know it's really good for farming or something, and it looks cool for explode or something, but it does not more. It does not uh, damage. There's no damage, only surroundings get 50 damage or some time. <laughs> okay, that stun from that elf was really useless. I would recommend you guys to keep the stun for the elf. Like in situations for team fights or something. Or if the enemy has low HP and you know he's trying to escape, then use your stun. Not right at the beginning. I need a target. Like here it would be useless if I stand here, because he has full HP and he can escape anyways. Sure. Just keep your stun like for a finish off. If you know the enemy has really no, no chance to escape or has Half of the HP. Like here, all my team is here, just stun him and finish him off. The team is really noob from them, cause the witch never uses his, her heal. I think cause the witch is in the free heroes, um, weekly free heroes. You see how much health I got now? I got 1,222. Of the tablets, it's really useful, guys. I recommend you guys. If you play like with heroes, they're really squishy at the beginning, just buy it. Now I got 1,227 HP. 1,232 HP. 1,237 HP. That's really helpful for elf or some other squishy heroes like Daliana or something at the beginning. Oh, that elf is done. Nice. If they had a better witch, they, they probably could win. Okay, she knows how to use the heal, but not on her teammates, I think. Ah, come on. If the ant had kept attacking, I thought he would continue, but he retreated too early. That's the problem. If you don't speak it with your team, like from Skype or something. I have a friend I play almost every time with him, if he has time. And we win almost every time. Because we speak like I go down or something, then I, I say when it's time to stun him, then I say, okay, I come stun him, and then, then the stuff, then it's really good. Oh, that elf bitch. <laughs> oh, he got me. Damn it. Oh, I hate fireball. It's really annoying. And if you have the tablet for the fireball too, it decreases the magical and physical defense 20%. It helps really a lot. 
then you do much more damage. Then guys, I would recommend you to buy some attack speed. And if you have enough money <coughs> to buy that, to build up the boots. And I would recommend you guys really, it's your choice. If you want to move speed, make that first. Or if you want to do damage with the arrow flurry, make arrow, flur arrow flurry first. And first attack while you're invisible normal. Every time attack normal, guys. Because if you're stunned at the beginning, you don't uh, do more damage. It only counts for normal attack. There is standing... While invisible for 20 seconds, the first attack while invisible deals an extra 125 plus 19 damage. But it only counts for the normal attack at the beginning, not stun. Most of the players don't know that. And they stun really at the beginning. You're invisible, the enemy can't even see you. But some people maybe think, why they can see me while I'm, while I'm invisible or something. You see the guards from the end here, like these guards. If the ant uses these cards, he can see you. He can see every invisible enemy. That's really annoying from the ant, really. It's the most annoying support in the game. With his ult every time, he stuns one second. And if the player even tries to escape from that area, he gets another second stun. That's really OP, guys. That I want to see you guys never mess with the ant if you don't have... If you're not alone or something. Or just be aware of that, that he puts his guards. I almost stunned here. Like I said, to finish off the enemy. Nice, and I got my double kill and got my event. And the enemy surrendered. Nice. I hope that will help you guys out, guys. I hope that will help you out, guys. But <laughs> However, I hope that will help you out, guys. That you play now better with Alpha Siving or understand how to play it. Like, Elf is not the one who just rushes in and kills the enemies. The Elf is like a strategy, a strategy hero. That you just get in in the right time to the battle. Just sneak in with your invisibility or something. But if the enemy has a potion like Farseeing... You know, it's a blue thing ab above his head. If he has that, he can't see you. Don't try to kill him, he can't see you. And all nearby teammates can see you too. Or if the enemy has Ant in her, their team. Like, in your screen, in the left corner. You know, where your picture of your hero is shown. And your health and your mana. Next to that, there is an eye. If you see that eye, that means you are visible on the map. And if there... If there are soldiers from the enemy or something, you know, okay, it's okay, the enemy can see you on the map. But if there is nothing, no soldiers or something, that means they put some warts or eyes on the ground. That means they can see you even if you're invincible. But it doesn't mean that they can see you if you're invincible. Maybe they only buy the staff of Tynos. But if they bought the 150 staff, that means they can even see you if you're invincible. Just be aware of that, guys. Like if you're playing with Chameleon or Evil or something, just be aware of that. Many players don't know that. However, I hope that helped you out, guys. I really tried to find other matches at 5 vs 5 or something, but it never worked out, guys. It was too much players, you know, it's more laggy and that stuff. And yeah, I hope that will help you now out, guys, to play better with Elf or something. And see you guys in the next video. Subscribe and like if you're not for more... Here are supporting chaos videos. And see you guys next time. Peace!